Hello. It is May 6th at 2.28 a.m. So actually it's May 7th, 2016. I'm on Weather Modification Incorporated. Weather Radar System. This says, Weather Modification Incorporated not only spells and services D-band, X-band, and S-band weather radar systems to clients around the world, we incorporate them into our own cloud seeding projects. Ranging from smaller mobile radar systems to polar metric Doppler research quality systems, we can meet radar needs for a wide range of customers. And here is a picture of a radar system. Weather radar systems are a versatile tool for atmospheric assessment with uses that include rainfall estimates, real-time cloud detection, speed and direction of cell motion, identifying precipitation, location, and intensity. But I believe they're used for much more than that because radar emits energy. Let's go into this just for a little bit longer on this page. New single and dual polarized radar systems. Weather Modification Incorporated owns, operates, and sells new single pole polarity and dual polarity pole radar systems that utilize a solid state that utilize a solid state transmitters, digital receivers, and antenna control systems. Configurable display software allows a wide variety of user-defined product display and analysis features. Available antenna diameters include 3.5 meters, 4.2 meters, and 4.5 meters. Also available are new fiberglass radomes. So let's look at the dual polarization specification. And then they tell you what you need for that. And the single polarization specification. And they tell you what you need for that. Okay, more about weather radar system upgrades. Um, right here before that it says, we provide transmitter, receiver, and antenna upgrades to nearly any type of C-band weather radar. After an assessment has been made of your existing radar, we can recommend upgrades that allow the most modern equipment for reliability and superior data quality. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you that is because I'm on uh, the National Weather Service Enhanced Radar System Image here. And I'm looking at this, let's put it on a loop image. I'm looking at this radar here in Washington, the state of the United States of America. And I don't know if you realize, but this is a huge area that this radar is spreading out right here. Okay, now I can, okay, so I want to look at another site um, that is dealing with this, but remember that for just a moment. Let's just look at the rest of the United States here. This storm just passed through where I live. Look at um, the radar here in, See this huge amount of radar in the atmosphere right in the central part of the United States. Here is a storm going through here. And then here we've got huge, huge radar energy being put out into the atmosphere. Look at that cluster. Just amazing amount of energy. And we'll go over here to Florida. More right there. This is bizarre what this looked like. This is like some kind of scale that's turning right now. Okay, so let's make it small where you can 
see it on here a little clearer. This is the first spot I showed you. And then we have like this huge amount of radar right here in California. And it looks actually like they're drying out the storm right there. And then this um, large amount of radar right here in the center, when it looks like the storm is or clouds are right here instead of through here. I'm going to look at that spot a minute because it, it looks like um, it's shrinking it. Watch as this moves in and it just seems to get smaller than where they've been having a <coughs> problem with drought. Excuse me. Okay, so let me show you something else here. This is the College of DuPage radar site. Um, as you can see, see this massive collaboration of radar right in the center part of the United States. Uh, that's bizarre compared to what's actually happening. But um, once again, up here, it's sort of amazing me how how wide that is. And then, like you see, this one here going on and off too. But if I put it on next red sites here and then we click on right there. Um, Langley Hill, Washington based the fluctivity. If I go over here um, and click on how many times I want it to um, move. Now I can't get that whole thing on my screen here. But here's the timestamp right down here. And, whoops. That pops out whenever I go over to the side here. But if you look at this, the circles, this is a 50 mile radius from the center of the radar, which is right here. This is 100 miles. See, 100 miles. And look how much further past that it's going. So if you just take this distance and add, there's another 50. So it's going out at least 150 miles, at least. Okay. And then I want to show you what this looks like on the storm relative mean velocity on here. And this thing's a load. Oops. Sorry. Now, look at this. That is a lot of intense different energy. If you look at the key over here, okay, and I can slow that down a little bit more so you can see it jumping from all these different colors. Okay. This is the ocean over here that that's going on. All right, let's look at another spot. Okay, this is State College, Pennsylvania. Now, this is where I showed you um, over here where it was just flashed on and off, and you can see it flash right there. We'll do it again for you. And you can see it shooting out energy or energy being shot into it there. You know, it just um, flashes at that time and then it goes back to short. And if we do it on the storm relative, here, just got a load. Okay, now let's catch that. See if I can move it up a little further so you can have more colors and look at the key. Okay, and then that flashed. And then that. And then back to 
Let me subscribe. Okay, let's look at something else. Okay, back. This is College of DuPage still. And I'm looking at the infrared satellite for the northern hemisphere. I can zoom this in and I'll slow this down a little. But this is the area where I had you look at first. Let's zoom in on that. That's where the radar was way out to here, okay? Which is almost like right where the curvature of those clouds are right there. And then right around here is where the other one was I showed you. Now let's make it look a little more fun. It's not terribly busy. It doesn't seem like you have to have the radar going out 150 miles from this area right here. Because it was going out this way. And these are, this is clouds approaching. But the radar was going this way. Remember? That's strange to me. Okay, so here's the visible satellite imagery right at this moment. If you look right in there. Okay, you can see that, right? Let's get closer. Uh, let's make it move. Right through this area. Oh, that's why. Sorry, sometimes I am human and I make mistakes. Let's zoom in a little more. Okay, the radar was going out like 150 miles right in this area. Right? And it really looks like there's a lot of chemtrails in this area to me. See these lines? Let's see if we can enhance it a little, brighten it up a little. Oops, that's too bright. <laughs> Let's add that. A little red tint to it. Okay, radar going out 150 miles at least from this area. Let's speed it up a little. Otherwise, we'll get bored out of our minds, won't we? See how this is heading up this way, sort of? But is the radar keeping it away from there? That's kind of what it looks like. Is that coming up? Okay. Okay, and just in case you need to see that again, we'll look at the radar from here. See how far out that's going? That's the radar from that area. And we can animate that radar. See? And not only is it coming from one spot, but it's like three spots just blossoming out into this whole huge thing. Doesn't it look like that to you? So here's the Pennsylvania area. Now let's look at the um, infrared. And Let's animate that. Okay. And you can see this sort of like inland based uh, sort of almost hurricane thing with all this coming up along the side here and this hitting it. So from two sides it's getting hit pretty good. Uh, weather forecast for Saturday for the United States. Heavy rain in portions of the west. Severe weather threat increasing in the plains this weekend. A storm system will bring rain, thunderstorms to much of the inner mountain west and high plains. Heavy rains could lead to flash. A few severe thunderstorms with damaging winds are possible.